critical information that's now emerging about the woman accused of trying to kidnap a girl and her little brother and then drive them across the border. Today, Leslie Sands appeared in court and our 10 News anchor Ariel Wessler joins us in Ariel. Prosecutors say two knives were also found in a backpack. Yeah, Steve, that's right. They found two kitchen knives inside of Sane's backpack after arresting her. Now, after a two-day delay here in court for medical reasons, Sane's did appear before a judge and pleaded not guilty. Uh, she faces six charges and up to 33 years in prison if convicted on all of them. A judge ordered the media not to show Leslie Sane's face in court. Sane spent most of her time staring down at the floor as the judge ordered her not to have any contact with Mr. Cole and his two children. Earlier this week, she was arrested at the San Ysidro border after police say she stole a car with two children inside outside a beauty supply store in Lincoln Park. She saw it running and she saw kids in it, then she just got in it and drove away. Eight-year-old Malaya was in the back seat and knew to call 911. She said, give me the phone or I'm going to drive in circles and crash into the freeway wall. But officers were able to ping her phone and get her location. The charges against Sains include making a criminal threat as well as kidnapping and child abduction. Prosecutors also say inside the woman's backpack, police found two knives and Malaya's cell phone. There's no indication at this time if there was the knives were ever used or anything of that nature. Prosecutors consider Sains a flight risk and ask the judge to prevent any bail from being set. She also had previous arrests in other counties in Southern California. Now, there's also one charge of attempting to dissuade a witness from reporting a crime. I talked to the deputy DA and she tells me that's because Sains told the little girl to get off of her phone with nine one uh, to get off the phone with 911 and then took the phone away from her. So that's where that charge comes from. The next court date here is set for April 18th to review if once again there will be any bail set. Live at the Chula Vista Courthouse, Ariel Wessler, 10 News.